được kết quả So this is just freshly wet hauled coffee. This is at the NCBA mill in outside of Takangan. And uh, this stuff is just really strange when you've, if you've seen coffee in processing. There's really nothing like it. Um, it is, it makes no sound very odd and this is hauled at 40% moisture. Um, it looks like just moonbeams. It doesn't look like anything coffee wise. And if you give it a it just smells like vegetables. There's a lot of other foreign material in it. But this is typical wet hauling. It's, uh, here's the hauler over here. It's dried for two hours or so by the, this is what I'm told, dried for two hours or so in the little family farm uh, after it's been peeled. This is the hauler. They're huge. These are way bigger than any hauler that uh, hauls traditional wet process coffee, which is done at 10%, 11%, maybe 12%. And this is the engine that drives it. Just a giant truck engine. Let me see, that's a six cylinder, six cylinder engine. Um, anyway, so the point is, is that wet hauling is completely different than wet processing, uh, wet process coffee. And, um, Coffee is often picked, uh, fermented over, floated as cherry, um, pulped, fermented in a bucket overnight, and then uh, and then dried for a couple hours in the morning, and brought into the mill, sold. Um, you know, different pricing based on uh, on defect count and on smell. But what we just saw coming into this mill was. Uh, a mix of just super fermented coffee that actually looked cleaner and then another lot that was really uh, just just the most rustic looking you know peeled coffee I think I've ever seen so um, there's no mystery to why Sumatra coffee tastes as it does and it's also not a mystery why uh, you know, discussing cultivars here and stuff such is sort of a moot point because what does it matter when it's processed this way? Um, you know, you, what you're tasting is processed flavors. So this is really beautiful. I've been here before a couple years ago. And this is, uh, what well, the innovation I saw was that they have this uh, dust collector over the uh, gravity table which I think is really nice. That's the gravity table, very important piece of equipment. And over here is the screener, screener separating uh, screen sizes, uh, separating by size and pea berries. Door. Yes, uh, the, oh, yeah, the problem in the uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So a very little amount of fruity can be very good as long as it does not cover the Sumatra flavor. Oh, yeah.
But it has to be very Okay, guys, I have to be able to do that.